Welcome to the Dodgers Science of Baseball. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the strike zone. First, we're going to measure this guy's. Next, we're going to measure this guy's strike zone. The first item you need to measure the strike zone is a tape measure. We're going to measure the strike zone in inches. The strike zone is a rectangle that goes from the batter's knees to the middle of his chest, right here. So Luca's strike zone is 21 inches high from his knees to his chest. The second part of the strike zone is the width, which for everybody is going to be 17 inches. And that is the width of home plate. The next thing you'll need is a piece of butcher paper and your tape measure. Draw a line 17 inches long. Next, take your tape measure and measure the height of your strike zone, which in Luca's case was 21 inches. Finish drawing the rest of the rectangle and close out the strike zone. Finish the fourth side by measuring 17 inches, which is the width of home plate. Label the bottom of your strike zone 17 inches. Label the height of your strike zone 21 inches. Now label your strike zone with your name. Calculate the area of your strike zone. In his case, it's 17 by 21, which equals 357 square inches. Finally, hold up your strike zone to make sure it measures from your knees to the midpoint between your shoulders and your belt. Rocco's strike zone is 25 inches high and 17 inches wide, which is the width of home plate. Label your strike zone with your name. Hang your strike zone on the wall and try to see how many strikes you can get. For a tougher challenge, try throwing to your strike zone from farther away. <laughs> 